and welcome to day five, I think. I'm losing track already, that's not a good sign, is it? <laughs> welcome to day five of Vlogmas. I was expecting to start this video with a, I'm just back from the school run, but actually, the kids have just left. I um, <clears throat> went to do the school run, it's tipping it down with rain, but I was all geared up to walk. I got outside only to discover that next door have decided to drive it because not only is it tipping it down with rain, it's also really, really icy. Um, so she's taken the kids for me, which is great because I didn't have to go out in the rain. <laughs> I have a funny week this week um, because pre-orders are open for the Lord of the Rings collection and pre-orders are open for the clubs at the moment. And I don't tend to start dying any of those until I've got the final numbers once the pre-orders have closed. So I don't really have anything in terms of dying to do this week. I've got, I think I've got a couple of died to orders, um, although they're not actually due out until a lot later in the month, but I might get those done at some point during the week. But I don't think I've even got an oven's worth of yarn to dye this week. Um, so, I'm not quite sure what to do with myself. <laughs> I am, I'm going to take it a bit easy because I've had a really busy couple of months, October and November and September were all manic. So actually, having a slightly quieter month, a slightly quieter week, being able to get some other things done would be lovely. I do need to get started on the admin -y background kind of stuff for next year's clubs. Um, so I need to start sorting out mood boards, planning each month, working out um, characters and stuff. I'm doing two clubs next year. Um, I'm sure I'll talk about them later in the month as well. But I'm doing a sock club, which is inspired by Terry Pratchett's Discworld. So each month will be a different character or I might expand beyond characters. I haven't quite worked that out yet. Um, and my plan is to put together some mood boards based with images based around the characters and stuff like that. Um, and then I'm also going to do a minis club, which is going to be a rainbow minis club. So it will create, you'll be able to create like a, if you do a blanket, for example, you will have a big rainbow blanket at the end of the year. Um, so I need to work out mood boards for that. I need to work out proper colour progression across 12 months because obviously a rainbow is generally seven colours and I need to get that spread across 12 months to make it work. I need to work out whether I'm putting pinks in there, which isn't technically a rainbow colour, but I think I probably will. So I need to just work out colour, colour, I can't talk today. I need to work out colour progressions and stuff like that. Um, so that's one of my jobs this week. But I'm also thinking I can actually take some time to maybe go and do a bit of shopping, get a few bits and pieces sorted for Christmas, sort the house out a little bit. We are, we are slow to decorate this year. Tom put up some of the Christmas lights in the lounge last night, but we haven't got the Christmas tree up yet. We haven't got any of the other major Christmas decorations down yet. I need to actually tidy the lounge and sort kind of stuff out so that we can get we can get decorated really it's all a bit all a bit all over the place this year i'm not quite sure why but it is so my big goal this week is to have everything decorated for christmas by the end of the week um yeah so a bit of a bitty week with lots of time i'm hoping i can also take some time to knit which would be very nice i'm up to date with the gnome clues um, and I've just started today's colour on my little scrappy cowl that I'm doing with my scrappy swap. Um, so yeah, I, I'm hoping I'll get some time to knit, but I also need to get some admin stuff done. I need to do my accounts this week for November as well. That's less exciting, isn't it? Um, but yeah, a quieter week. I'm quite looking forward to it, actually. gone through all the pre-orders and stuff and put them all into spreadsheets. I have spreadsheets for pretty much everything, club orders, just so I can keep track of who's ordered what on what basis and how much I need to die and all of that kind of thing. So I've done that this morning. I've also packed up a few orders that I had, a few ready to ship orders that had come in and a few other bits and pieces that just needed to ship out. There's a couple of podcast prizes in there and things like that. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling like I 
am at a good point today. So I thought it would be about time to open my box of socks. <laughs> so this is a Vlogmas tradition. Basically throughout the year whenever I finish a pair of socks they go into this box which is far too big nowadays than it used to be. Um, they go into this box and I tuck them away until December when I open my box of socks and gift myself basically with all the socks that I've knit for myself during the year. Um, I really enjoy it. It's like a little December treat. Um, and I kind of, I don't mind actually finishing a pair of socks and putting them away. And it's always fun to open the box because I forget what half of the pairs of socks that I finished. Um, so it's always really nice. So shall we open the box of socks? I don't even know how many pairs are in here. I haven't actually opened it. I've just literally taken it off the shelf and I've not opened it. Um, so we'll see. Any guesses on the number of pairs of socks in here? I don't think it's going to be many. I'm going to guess maybe six. I think that might be optimistic. We'll see. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. There, there's a few. Let's see. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. I told you six was optimistic. <laughs> I have not finished as many pairs of socks this year as I normally would. Oh, shall I grab a sock blocker? Hang on a sec. They're just here. They're just next to me. Let's grab a sock blocker. So the first pair of socks that I'm going to dig out is um, these ones. This is some yarn by London House Yarns and I think this must have been my Christmas Eve cast on last year, um, quite possibly. Um, so we will pick actually later in Vlogmas, that's one of the other Vlogmas traditions is a bit later in Vlogmas we will pick my Christmas Eve cast on together for this year. Um, so this was last year's Christmas Eve cast on. It's a colourway by London House Yarns and it's called Merry and Bright. Um, and it's really pretty. Uh, it's lovely, isn't it? It's a really nice colourway. It's not too Christmassy, but it's also still quite Christmassy, if that makes sense. Um, so that is that one. We also have... So there we go, that's pair number one. We also have... Ooh another pair here. Now I can't remember, actually it's probably on my list on the wall behind me. Um, this is another pair of socks. They're all socks. Why am I saying that? Um, here we go. Pair number two. This is yarn. The yarn is the yarn I dyed at the Wool Lay Retreat last year, I believe. Um, or oh, the year before even possibly. I think it was the year before actually. I've been twice. Um, I didn't go this year but I went in 2022 and 2021 um, and I'm pretty sure this is the colourway I dyed in 2021 and the pattern I used is I believe the Yuletide socks. Yes, um, it's the Yuletide socks by um, Green Lambkin, Susan of Green Lambkin, Suzanne of Green Lambkin Yarns. Oh words are not coming out properly. Suzanne of Green Lambkin Yarns, who is also doing Vlogmas on her YouTube channel, which is Green Lambkin Yarns. Um, she always has the most amazing um, Christmas decorations. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is pair number two that got finished. Let's pop those away. Then I've got a couple of pairs of um, commercial sock yarn socks, just vanilla socks. Um, and I'm not for the life of me going to be able to remember the colourways, but I think they're both Stylecraft Head Over Heels yarn. Um, and I think they're both in the, um, I think they're both in the mountain ranges, the colourways that are named after mountain ranges. Um, but I can't remember what this one is. I think the other pair is Ben Nevis, um, but I can't remember what this one is, or even if it is a Stylecraft one. I think it is, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but there is one. And there is the other. So another pair finished off there. Um, I love um, commercial sock yarn socks. I really like wearing them. They're actually some of my favorite. No, I know. I'm a hand yarn, a hand dyed yarn dyer. Um, and I should extol the benefits of hand dyed yarn and hand dyed socks. And I do love my hand dyed socks, don't get me wrong. But sometimes I quite often will reach for commercial sock yarn socks when I'm reaching for socks from my drawer. I don't know what it is, but I do love them. Um, so that is one pair. And then these are the ones that I'm pretty sure are called Ben Nevis. These are the ones we had a little bit of co co controversy. Well, not really, not really controversy, but I couldn't remember what colorway it was. So I asked on the podcast 
and um, a number of you came back. But interestingly, those of you in America came back with a two completely different range of colourway names to those of you in the UK and possibly Europe, I can't remember. So in the UK and Europe, it seems like this range of colourways were named after mountains. So yeah, this was Ben Nevis. I've knit with Kilimanjaro before. Um, I'm still not 100% sure if this was one of the mountain ranges or not. Um, but in America they were named after something completely different but they're exactly the same colourways um, so that was quite interesting <laughs> um, so yep yeah, there we go that is another pair of commercial socks which I'm looking forward to getting in my sock drawer and then the final pair is a Halloween pair and these are the yarn is by Green Lambkin Yarns um, so back to Suzanne <laughs> Um, if I can get this on the sock blocker, there we go. So the yarn is by Suzanne of Green Lambkin Yarns um, and it is her Jelloween colourway. Can you see how sparkly that is? I love the sparkle base. It's my favourite. This is the same sparkle base that I stock, um, the silver sparkle, and I love it so much. I can't resist a sparkle yarn. I really do like a sparkle yarn. Anyway. <laughs> um, Jelloween is the yarn by Green Lambkin, Green Lambkin Yarns. It's one of her regular Halloween colourways, so it's definitely a colourway you can get um, throughout the year. Um, and the pattern I used, I'm just going to double check on there if I wrote it down, um, or did I just write Halloween socks? I don't think I even wrote Halloween socks. Oh no, I did. I just wrote Halloween socks. I'm pretty sure this pattern is called the um, A Little Bit of Hocus Pocus Socks. And it's a free pattern by This Handmade Life on Ravelry. Um, but it's got one of my favourite types of sock pattern in the world, um, where it's mostly really simple and then you just have a cable detail down one side of the leg. I absolutely love this style of sock pattern. I really enjoy knitting them. Um, so yeah, that is my final pair of socks. I did hope I had more than five pairs in here, I have to admit. Um, <laughs> But, but, oh well. <laughs> I do have a couple of pairs that are close to being finished. My bookshelf socks, I am on the foot of the second sock. And my um, rainbow Felici socks, again, I'm on the foot of the second. Oh, actually, no, I need to put the heel. I need to put the heel of the second sock in. But I've got a couple of gift knits that need to be finished. And I'm working on a couple of advent things. So I'm not sure they will get finished this year. But, oh well. Next. Um, not next video. At some point during the next couple of weeks, we will decide on my Christmas Eve cast on for this year because that's always fun. I can never make decisions. So I always like putting it in your hands and we'll do a vote and whichever one gets voted for is what I'll cast on. So at some point I need to go through my stash and dig out all my Christmas yarns, don't I? I have once again forgotten to tell you about the jumper I'm wearing. I've worn it in a two videos the, the today in vlogmas and yesterday in vlogmas actually and i also wore it in my advent ideas video and every time i forgot to mention this is the aquamarline pattern by park williams um and it is gorgeous um i will just pop you like that it's a cropped pattern um, so it works really nicely over a dress or something like that. It works really nicely in my dungarees because it doesn't give too much bulk um, kind of below the waist. <laughs> it also has these amazing kind of puffy sleeves which are so cosy and so comfortable and I absolutely love it. Um, it's knit in a bulky weight but you make the bulky weight up by using multiple different yarns. So I held one skein of DK with one strand of DK with two strands of fingering weight um, and I'm desperate to cast on another one, um, but I need to finish other things first. Oi, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're stealing my socks. Are you stealing my socks? Can I have my sock back? No? Very 
Christmas way with friends playing Vampire which uh, Vampire the Masquerade which is a role playing game of some kind I don't really know how to explain it it's a tabletop role playing game it's a bit like Dungeons and Dragons but you use different types of dice rolls to work out whether you succeed and fail I guess is the way to explain it yeah, I mean, I think. it's a different world and it's all based around vampires. Yeah, and you you play as vampires and yeah. stuff happens, I guess. <laughs> yeah. um, we've not been playing for very long, um, but it's been really good fun. We've, we've definitely enjoyed it. Um, but I realised we haven't yet done... Joke, joke of, of the, the day! day! <laughs> I thought it seemed appropriate to do a vampire joke. But then I really, really, really struggled. Oh, hello, Bowser. Um, I really, really struggled to find a decent vampire joke. So unfortunately, you're getting a terrible vampire joke. Are you ready? Yes. What do vampires get in the post? I don't know. What do vampires get in the post? Fang mail. (laughs) Oh, I'm not even going to get a groan. That was so funny, I didn't even need to laugh. No, I know. I really struggled with vampire jokes. Let me know if you have vampire jokes. Tell me your vampire jokes in the comments because I bet you've got better ones than me. (laughs) Um, Do you like our window stickers? They're new this year and I'm really pleased with them. I really like how they came out. We're slowly getting decorations up. Slowly. We'll do more tomorrow. Anyway, we really, really, really need to go to bed because... It's late and we've got to get the kids up in the morning and all of that. So we will see you tomorrow. Bye.